Hello, welcome people. In this video, we want to look at paraneoplastic syndromes. So, <clears throat> also shortened as PM, PNS. Okay. Now, where are we currently? Do you know that? Currently, we are looking at neoplasia chapter. Okay. So, in neoplasia, what you have seen so far, benign will be local, capsulated and all. Malignant will invade, infiltrate, metastasize, all that you saw. You know, so there is something like uh, from one place it goes to another place, metastatic, all that. But you know, paraneoplastic syndromes, they are not like metastasis. There is something different, okay. In some unrelated location, there is some problem because of the cancer existing somewhere else. And they really don't know why all this happens as of now. So, who the hell knows is what you will understand paraneoplastic syndromes as, okay. So this is something key that you can keep for you, if you want. Who the hell knows? So it is nothing that you can explain, oh it will metastasize through lymphatic channel or the blood channel, no. So something different, okay. Like lung carcinoma, okay. Why will it result in Cushing syndrome? This is more like an endocrine syndrome. Like lung carcinoma, will secrete something which is like ACTH or ACTH like, okay, which will increase the secretions from adrenal gland leading to Cushing syndrome. So lung tumor, Cushing syndrome, that is a paraneoplastic syndrome, okay. It is not metastasis, you should understand this. It is not metastasizing, it is causing some other effect, okay. <clears throat> so lung carcinoma can create Cushing syndrome. Lung, again lung cancer, breast cancer, kidney, all these if they are affected then they can cause increased cal uh, calcium levels in the blood. Hypercalcemia, why? Because there is something it secretes which is like pa parathormone. Parathormone like substance is released by these cancers, okay. So hypercalcemia, if a patient comes to you with hypercalcemia, it may not be anything but a cancer. Strange, right? And what cancer could it be? It could be a lung, kidney, breast or it could be a leukemia, lymphoma which is causing hypercalcemia in the person. Strange, right? If the person has Cushing syndrome and you really cannot find out why, why the ACTH levels are more or there is some substance which is like ACTH, it could be a lung carcinoma, it could be a pancreatic carcinoma, it could be neural. So, God knows what it is, you know, who the hell knows, that is why we are saying. You understood? So, what did you understand so far? <clears throat> Paraneoplastic syndromes basically are resultants of neoplastic conditions, but there is no direct explanation as to why it happens. It is not a metastasizing condition. It is some kind of a secondary effect of these neoplasms. The importance of this is people can come up with the uh, paraneoplastic syndromes to you and you might have to diagnose the underlying neoplasia. Understood? Good. Let us give you the textbook definition weight. So, paraneoplastic syndromes are a group of conditions developing in patients with advanced cancer which are neither explained by direct or distant spread of the tumor nor by the usual hormone elaboration by the tissue of origin of the tumor. So basically there is no prob probable explanation as to why it is happening, okay. So let us look at the examples, okay, very common examples. We should know at least a few. Paraneoplastic syndrome which could be endocrinal syndromes, neuromuscular syndromes, bone, osseous joint and surface tissue syndromes, hematologic syndromes, gastrointestinal syndromes, renal syndromes, cutaneous like skin syndromes and amyloidosis. So amyloidosis is a proteinaceous substance, okay, this deposit here and there that cannot be degraded by the body that is amyloidosis. So where and all it can happen, why? Let us look at all of them one by one, okay. So going back here, this is the first slide, let us look at the endocrine syndromes. So here what you can know is hypercalcemia caused by lung carcinoma etc. Because the parathormone like substance is more. Cushing syndrome can happen in lung carcinoma etc. Small cell carcinoma of the lung because of ACTH like substance will be more. What else you want to know? Hypoglycemia, 
polycythemia polycythemia can happen because of increased erythropoietin erythropoietin will be more if kidney tumor is there liver tumor is there but kidney tumor being having erythropoietin more it makes sense right why is it paraneoplastic it makes sense right if kidney tumor is there then erythropoietin is more polycythemia it kind of makes sense to me well anyways the textbook says this we have to know this okay then um, what else pancreatic tumor is there there can be insulin insulin like substance so hypoglycemia this makes sense so i will like some things make sense to me instead of who the hell knows wow okay so this kind of makes sense to me pancreatic tumor insulin insulin like substance hypoglycemia makes sense kidney uh, tumor erythropoietin is more polycythemia makes sense okay so at least this much you know okay breast hypercalcemia lung cushing syndrome strange those things are okay strange now neuromuscular syndromes let us learn now a person comes to you he seems to have myasthenia gravis but the underlying reason can be a thyo thymoma thymoma could be something to do with the thymus so basically it is immunologic reaction because of thymoma so what you can understand is endocrine uh, sorry this paraneoplastic syndromes can be because of the immune response of the body to the uh, tumor okay moving on to osseous joint and soft tissue here what you can see is the lung can affect the the lung tumor can affect the bone joints etc clubbing of fingers can be there because of lung issues okay now let us look look at hematologic syndromes thrombophlebitis trousiosine phenomena trousios phenomena this one trousios phenomena can be because of some neoplasm again lung is there here so you can write lung for almost everything <clears throat> then dic disseminated intravascular coagulation dic or dic they call it just for fun disseminated intravascular coagulation this one can be because of um, aml adenocarcinoma okay what is adenocarcinoma where do you see adenocarcinoma this can again be in the lung or any other part okay so disseminated intravascular coagulation then um, thymoma can also result in anemia moving on guys we are moving on are you awake what did we discuss so far we saw neuromuscular problems like myasthenia gravis then bone joint issues can be because of lung then there could be troches phenomena there could be a uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation because of adenocarcinoma of lung or whatever lot of uh, examples they gave now we are moving on to gastrointestinal syndromes renal syndromes skin and amyloidosis okay look at gastrointestinal syndromes so lymphoma of small bowel malabsorption obviously right now this makes sense i don't know why they have put it as paraneoplasty okay lymphoma of small bowel malabsorption advanced cancers nephrotic syndrome okay skin can get affected there can be acanthosis nigricans like this one this one is acanthosis nigricans because of uh, intestine okay large intestine it can happen so look at this so because of intestine there can be acanthosis nigricans then let us move on exfoliative dermatitis can happen amyloidosis why does amyloidosis occur primary amyloidosis can occur because of multiple amyloma secondary amyloidosis can occur because of some lymphoma etc but i thought primary means there is no underlying cause and secondary is because of some other diseases they are completely contradicting here okay so let's move on then so multiple myeloma al protein secondary amyloidosis is testing a a protein will be more that is amyloid associated protein correct so if you have survived this video good you have understood what paraneoplastic syndromes are so there is something other than metastasis that is happening there are a lot of uh, syndromes caused because of these tumors in different locations like they make they secrete extra hormones or they secrete uh, other kind of immune reactions they are provoking then blood 
coagulability are getting affected. So there is this thrombophlebitis or Trousseau's sign or there can be disseminated intravascular coagulation because the thrombos, uh, thrombotic phenomena is there. Hypercoagulability is there, okay, of the blood. Then obviously malabsorption will be there if there is lymphoma of small bubble. Acanthosis nigricans can happen because of large intestine problems, okay. And of course amyloidosis can happen, okay. Skin can get affected, amyloidosis can happen. So we have completed the paraneoplastic syndrome guys. Um, see you in the next video. Enjoy. Bye-bye.